Looks like we've got a new calf out there this morning in the background behind me. So we got to get the bulls fed and get to work. <laughs> That one was a little heifer. We named it Bailey from Shelby in Mount Vernon, Missouri. That little heifer is named Ruda, courtesy of a friend in Lithuania. It's a beautiful sunshiny day one of the warmest days we've had so far this winter. I'm actually putting out an entire bale at every field today. You're used to watching me just put out a half bale, but I have to be gone completely away from the farm tomorrow. And it's not supposed to rain or snow or anything. So I'm just gonna give them a whole bale, feed them for two days. Okay, that little heifer is named Sparkle, named that by Nicole from Detroit. In answer to a couple of questions, I typically try to tag the calves as soon as I unroll a bale of hay, because most of the time their mother is kind of preoccupied with eating hay, and they'll let me get the calf without much turmoil or anything. Doesn't always work, but we try to do that most of the time. I seriously thought about deleting this next shot because I was afraid it might offend uh, some of the audience. But then I thought again, and farming doesn't always go uh, like it's planned. As a matter of fact, it usually doesn't. The unexpected is what we live with every day. So this calf that I let go was not hurt. Uh, sometimes, not always, but sometimes they'll let out that panic ball when you uh, catch them by the foot. And when they let out that sound, I usually let them go because their mother and several other mothers are gonna come and try to protect it, meaning they're probably gonna get me. That calf will be tagged here in a few days uh, with no problem, or I'll wait until the cowboys come and we work calves in the spring. But it's important to individually identify every animal. Uh, beef quality assurance requires it so that if I ever do have to give an antibiotic, and I very seldom do, maybe one calf out of a hundred might get sick, but I'll keep records on that and I'll know that calf with that number 
uh, did receive antibiotic and will never be sold as antibiotic free. Consumers want to know where their beef comes from, and so do I. So that's why we tag every individual animal. Well, that was a swing and a miss on that one. The calf let out that yell. The mother wasn't going to allow me to tag it, so I just let it go. That little bull calf is named Alice, as in Alice Chalmers, from Owen in Georgia. That little heifer is named Caramel, courtesy of Nicole in Detroit. Little bull name is Clay, courtesy of Shelby from Mount Vernon. This cow was off by herself, so I thought maybe she had a new baby, but as it turns out, she's just babysitting a couple of calves here. They'll do that a lot of times. They'll designate one cow to stay with the new calves while the others go and uh, eat hay, and that's what's happened here this morning. Calves are already tagged, so they're at least a few days old. <laughs> Another example of a cow babysitting for the rest of the herd. She's off quite a ways, all the way across the, the creek from the rest of the herd, but she's got two calves with her kind of taking care of them while uh, all the rest of them eat hay. I've always thought that was pretty interesting how one cow can take the responsibility for babysitting several calves while the other mothers go about their daily business of eating hay. My wife is as cheap as I am, and she thinks buying store-bought flowers is such a waste of money. But she just loves these wildflowers, and these are always the first ones in the spring growing on the side of the road. So hopefully she'll like these. 